Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, where you come for education, analysis, and opportunities in blockchain and crypto. My name is Lucas. And my name is Ryan. And we have some opportunities and some education on the continuation of what's going on in the Dow Reserve Stablecoin Development protocols in the world of DeFi because you know after yeah. that last video you and I did and going in uh, to the nitty-gritty economics of it I really feel that this is um, you know blockchain's way many people in DeFi are foreseeing future issues with centralized stable coins and, and having kind of a, a solid foundation cross chain to be at the ready in case there is uh, a stable coin rug pull from a, a centralized black swan. regulatory risk, right? So many things, sure. Yeah. Um, now, of course, we covered several blockchains and, and how this uh, ecosystem works, forked over from the Olympus DAO, that own um, protocol, and, and others. But uh, there's more going on, and this it continues to develop, and that's basically yeah. This this concept seems to be uh, going viral right now. <laughs> to be the best way to put it, and we wanted to draw some attention to two more projects that are in the same the same uh, theme. Uh, one of them is on Harmony, and that's one of our favorite uh, smart contract blockchains. Uh, it's, it's, it's still like kind of waiting for its moment to really shine in the DeFi space as Solana and Avalanche kind of steal, steal the thunder, but uh, it, it's time's coming, we believe. And there's some good development on this chain. We, we mentioned eight is an, uh, a Harmony one, uh, reserve currency, a DAO reserve currency protocol that's coming, but it hasn't launched yet. And you can only really find that on through medium, medium articles. Uh, there's not even a website at the moment, but we wanted to highlight a, a harmony. And then the other channel, the other chain that we're going to talk about uh, in a minute is phantom and um, another DAO reserve currency on that chain. But before we get to that, we wanted to go back to harmony and kind of bring your attention to one DAO dot finance. This is a reserve currency DAO project of, of similar to Ohm, uh, Olympus DAO and Time Wonderland. And this is, but it's on Harmony and it's a working protocol. It's already launched and it is uh, doing quite well by, by all estimates. So what are we looking at? We have, well, the price, start off with the price. Uh, the zero, the, the one O DAO is going for around 11,652 right now. It's got a 23, almost $24 million locked up total value locked a um, the backing per per uh, ODAO is 277 so that's essentially the price floor you can you can really estimate you can basically know that if they sold off if there was a big run the treasury's balance was liquidated that would be the the uh, kind of the, the floor of what where the price would be able to go to and it probably wouldn't fall below that and then then you look at market cap 25 million roughly and then APY, this is where things get a little interesting. Uh, I believe that's 10 billion, if I'm not correct, if I'm not mistaken. And so this, that's just amazing. So you can stake your, your ODAO for, and earn those crazy APYs. Now, how does, how does that happen? Well, this is an auto compounding uh, protocol. So every, uh, every day, three times a day, there'll be a rebase. And, and as that occurs, what that means is that your your staked your rewards that are that are coming that are pending are added to your your stake <clears throat> so three times a day the the interest rewards are then recompounded into your 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 position so that the following day your your principal your stake is is now increased and so every day uh your your underlying the underlying principal is going to grow and so you're going to get a bigger a bigger reward and as those rewards compound uh, you can end up with crazy yearly APYs, and and you're looking at one right here. Now the question is: is will that sustain? And and that's un, that's un you know it's unknowable. It, it'll depend on a lot of variables. Uh, I'm sure, it'll go down, but it's also the um, you have to keep in mind that's the APY if 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 the current yield was held today for 365 days. And that's probably not going to happen. But you, but these protocols have sustained incredibly high yields. Um, the the originator Olympus DAO still has around eight thousand APY. So even though you know ten billion probably won't be sustainable, something very 
high will and um, likely be be sustainable. This is not financial advice. Let me put that caveat. Um, do your own research. Definitely before you invest in any of these protocols, look at read the white paper. Consider um, the risks. Consider how how early. The, to, consider the total value locked, the liquidity. Um, you know, consider maybe looking into Discord and Twitter and see what the team is doing, and and if you can find information about that. So you don't want to you know just ape into these things. But so far, these have been very promising protocols, and they're very popular at the moment. They're popping up all over the all over blockchain, all over the world in the blockchain space, whether it's avalanche or um harmony or phantom so definitely something to keep your eye on uh oh yeah so if you're looking at the bonding section and you're wondering what that's about you can just take the you, you're able to take these lps that you can find in on um on various you know right now you're looking at dow odow and die there's odow and eth and there's a one and usdt and die you can either take usdd dt or die themselves or you can find the above lp tokens and you can use those to bond your odao at a discount which means you're basically purchasing your odao tokens at a discount and um then the catch here is that you'll get your your odao tokens in a in a over five days i believe is the is the, the way it works so you get a payout once a, one day once a day for five days and then that's that's how they uh, that's how they're able to do the discount because they're able to take some of your money put it to work for themselves and that that makes a profit and from that they're able to offer uh, some rewards or discounts to the to those who use that and it and the benefit for them is that now they get these interest bearing assets in their treasury which increases the underlying um backing uh, of this of this token of this token and then that's from that there's they're able to issue more and that's where these crazy apys come from because that's they're uh it's, they're creating a lot of inflation in the in the supply of that token and giving it to the users the stakers in the form of of that reward so something to think about these price volatility is very common in these protocols and it's offset by crazy apys crazy interest rewards so do your do your research and don't invest more than you can afford to lose or none at all it's your decision d y o r when you're going to b y o b right Indeed. Do your own research to be your own bank. And uh, so Harmony One, we have not put out an ecosystem video on that one yet, although we will have one coming. So if you like a walkthrough on a lot of different exchanges and farming DeFi protocols and, and what goes on, feel free to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, all that good stuff if you like this kind of content, because we like to go through the economics of it, the potential value these different uh, utility, these different protocols have. And also just the exciting uh, market news that's happening and the technical how to get involved. It's a lot, but, you know, there's a lot going on and there's a lot happening that we can't stay on top of. So we really uh, appreciate and uh, we love all the support from those who drop those comments and let us know, hey, have you checked out this protocol or hey, have you seen this? Because, you know, for all of us learning this new technology ecosystem together, you know, it's growing so fast, so rapid. There's so much emerging that yeah. we really do rely upon um, so many different resources for news and information. Oh, yeah. It's a community thing. Totally. No doubt. Now, we have done an ecosystem video on Phantom Network. While not complete, goes through a lot of some of the major uh, blue chip areas of Phantom and what they've got going on. However, we missed something... this one. Yeah. yeah. What is this, Ryan? Well, this is another fork of Ohm, um, of Olympus DAO, and this one's called Hector DAO. It's on Phantom. And as you can see, or as we will see and show you, it's very similar to the other, other um, reserve currency DAOs. The one thing that stands out here is that this one's pretty new, it seems. It's um, more rel relatively new. It, it's about, it looks like about the same old age as, as uh, one on Harmony. But the uh, price is a lot lower, whereas the one DAO price was around 11,000. This one's a 196. So, you know, we're looking at a different tokenomics design, <clears throat> but also similar staking bonding kind of mechanism here. The APY is 201,000. So that it's a much lower yield rate, which will probably go off to um, signal of smaller or lower inflation rate versus some of the other ones. And you can see, um, you look at some of the details under the dashboard market caps around 52 million, 
you got supply information, circulating supply information, uh, $28 price floor, um, and so on. Uh, staking, the staking tab, pretty clear. It's, you can see that there's a uh, 41 uh, million dollars that's been locked up on the staking in the staking protocol. And uh, under the bonding tab, you can see the different LPs and assets that you can use to get a discount on Hector. And most of them have been sold out. The only only option that remains is the Hector USDC LP that you can buy um, and for around, well, and you can get around a 3.3% discount on your Hector when you when you bond through that mechanism. So yeah, we got a six, roughly $6 million treasury balance. This is made up of, two point. You know, yes. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, that kind of just gives you an introduction into what's what's going on here. You um, yeah, vesting term is five days. Yeah, you get so you'll get your your Hector over that five day period. And uh, yeah, you see the same one one three three references uh, you'll, that you'll see in the other Olympus Dow forks. And ref, this is the, you know the bonding, and the staking is the three three um, option, and that refers to a game theory. Uh, kind of like a, a shorthand for for moving away from the lower right game theory uh, quadrants where it's kind of a lose-lose outcome and trying to design the incentives in the game, the rules of the game such that win-win outcomes are, are maximized or incentivized. And so, yeah, different protocols will reference this concept in different ways. Um, eight will have eight balls and, you know, uh, time has... has uh, top hats or and then various other you'll see handshakes and in you'll see three three nine nine very very often but it's all just about creating a better game for stakers and protocols so everybody can kind of win together because that's one of the problems with with DeFi has been that with these farms and and, and these lps lp farming strategies there's been uh mismatched incentives to where people come in or are you know incentivized to kind of like bring a bunch of liquidity and then they'll pull it and they'll, you, know, you can, you'll see a uh, big time price swings. And then people who are staking, staking or bonding in these protocols, I uh, think they're going to make a bunch of money. And then all of a sudden they find out they've, they've been rug pulled or there, or there's a pump and dump happened or, or in permanent loss took out the majority of their, of their gains or various other ways that essentially lose, lose options occur because, the protocols lose out because the popularity, all the liquidity goes and the popularity falls. And then, you know, and then, and the users don't win because they're, uh, they're losing money. So there's got to, there, there's basically a mismatch of incentives problem going on here. And then, and these Dow reserve currencies are looking at different uh, bonding strategies and, and a tre with treasury and with a treasury protocol and, and a, a decentralized or distributed uh, a framework for their token holders to be, basically be voting on how to how the organization will, will go forward right and and then there's a backing you know backed by real assets right? that have interest have an interest uh, return so these all these 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 own forks are looking at a new kind of game theory in DeFi. and if you see these three three one one four four references that's that's just shorthand for what that's about for for those ideas for that need for that goal that we're all looking for which is a, like a win-win well i guess drop a comment because these two that you found hector claims to wish to be the de facto dow reserve currency of um phantom mm -hmm. and then one dow odow says it, it would like to be that for harmony one so right. do you think that hector dow will be the one for harmony one i mean pardon me no it would absolutely want hector will be for phantom and uh one Dow, or will it be another one of these forks that are also looking to compete for the space and, and to uh claim that title you know we also uh, did a video recently for those who want to know more about the the economics of stablecoin centralization risk, and really it it just goes right into why many of these protocols are coming about and what what their purpose is. Right, they're right. They're, they're recognizing that there's a risk in stablecoins like Tether and USDC, although that they've become an integral part of the space, which is easy to see when you come over. And you see that Tether and USDC are both 
almost both in the top 10, but uh, mm-hmm. they're definitely both in the top 15, top they're sure. in the top 11. They're both in the top 11, right? Uh, and but, without and without them, you know, what would happen to DeFi in general? Right. Uh, so would... many protocols. That's where people are able to transition to when uh, other areas are extremely volatile. So finding a reserve currency that has more stability, especially this new DAO centric blockchain smart contract system that looks to be doing work cross chain. You know, you look like yeah. Min and Terra and, and uh, these DAOs that are forking on different chains. So what would be really beautiful would be to see some kind of uh, collaboration between them mm-hmm. on different chains to, to create some kind of reserve or stability between them or of a sort. If they could all just adopt MIM, that might be the layer. But yeah, because there's some that are on the Tether USDC dive you know, pattern and then there's others that are MIM centric. So yeah, but we'll it, it it's definitely going to be an interesting next year to see how this space evolves and which of these protocols, you know, last and become you know have longevity and which maybe fade away. But I do feel like I feel like the idea is is probably going to stick around. And which which iteration it will sure. be successful? That's up up in the air. But I feel like this idea is 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 innovative, and probably be around for a while. I appreciate it. Sounds good, especially seeing how you know when you. What is that imitation is flattery? And we see this yes. idea being replicated on different chains and, and how quickly it, it spread. It's, it's just like Uniswap, the AMM yeah. market style decentralized exchange. So when you see a viable use of this technology and then efficient, and then it looks like, oh, wow, this is really uh, functional and adding value and utility. Well, you will see it replicate on other chains. So uh, that's another good sign. I suppose read the white paper, when you do your own research, Look at the team if you can. Look at the partners and, and, and the partnerships and the collaborations. Um, and also look to see, is this a, uh, has this been done before? You know, if, if it's been done before, that provides you a little bit of a, a, a warm fuzzy and some insurance, internal insurance that, okay, well, if this was an outright uh, bit connect, then we would have seen something in one of these other protocols. However, you know, this is a fast developing ecosystem and this is very new. This is very new. So uh, always absolutely everywhere. (laughs) Absolutely. Uh, Hey, thank you for sharing this. This is, this is awesome news. Good find on harmony one and another addition to the, to the growing phantom ecosystem, because really both of those are along with avalanche and others. They are these pioneers in DeFi and offering solutions uh in indeed blockchain. so it's exciting times uh oh. i think we wrapped up that one pretty good yeah like subscribe comment and whatever you feel is appropriate we'll uh we're gonna keep churning out these videos and we'll see you all next time until the next time have a beautiful day and namaste